Recently, you may have seen the name Mama Max showing up a lot more than usual. It's not for any good reasons. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Mama Max is currently undergoing one of the craziest episodes I can remember seeing from a YouTuber in a long time. Completely self-destructing his career and it's all his own fault at the end of the day. As he continues to just make things worse for himself, dig a deeper hole, and double down on things that he really should have backed down on. I just want to say right out of the gate that I am not going to attempt to to cover all of the details of this situation in its entirety. It's very convoluted and messy and there are several sources that cover everything that has been going on with Max in a much better capacity than I ever could. So I'll link a few of the videos that do an excellent job of navigating the intricate details of this situation in the description. With that being said, if I get anything wrong in my video then please feel free to correct me in the comments, I would greatly appreciate that. The purpose of my video today is more so to just briefly recap the main events of this story and then to provide my commentary on why Max is wrong, what should have been done, and how we can all learn from a situation like this. I'll start off by introducing who Max is for those of you who are unaware. Mama Max is a YouTube child predator hunter with over 700,000 subscribers who does stylized films and videos covering his investigations into different child predators. He is most known for his modulated voice in his videos, making it sound like he's Darth Vader or some demon-possessed guy. Recently though, it seems like almost everyone except his most loyal cult-like fans have turned against him and I'm going to briefly recap what has exactly led us up to this point. I think that we are able to tie most of Max's erratic and insane behavior back to when he first started trying to expose a cult ran by a guy named Camden Gerard Davis. One of the survivors of this cult, Spencer, had come to Max for help in exposing this man and his cool, and she had horrifying stories of things that had happened to her while she was in the cult, including all types of abuse, and apparently Camden trying to kill her at one point. According to Spencer, this dude Camden has been doing similar things to hundreds, not dozens or even a few, but hundreds of minors, and she is teaming up with Mama Max to find him and put him in prison. Now, Max has covered similar stories in the past with cults and child victims and whatnot, but something appeared to be different this time. It felt more personal and we would later come to find out why because much later on a live stream Max would reveal that Spencer was actually a family friend and a close friend of his sister's and would reveal that Spencer would be living with him until he could raise enough money to help her get herself back on her feet financially. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. The next event we need to take a look at was when Mama Max reached out to a bunch of different content creators begging them to cover this story with the Cole and Camden and Spencer. A few few people like Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers talked with Max about it behind the scenes and basically all of them concluded that there was not enough evidence presented to them to basically call this random guy a pedo in front of their audiences and send them after him. Max claimed that he had more evidence but that they were saving it for the court case against Camden and that they couldn't release it. Anyways, after no one would talk about the video itself, Max would drop his infamous exposed video on Moist Critical where he basically called out people who who were reacting to the Sniper Wolf situation with Jack's films, angry at how something he considered as mild internet drama was getting way more coverage than his serious case with Spencer and the Colt. And he called out the content creators he messaged for not helping him cover this topic. He specifically went after Charlie in this video and he got a lot of backlash for the way he tried to basically use these bigger creators to help spread his message and the way he tried to pester and vaguely threaten them if they ignored him or didn't want to cover the topic, trying to essentially force them to talk about it even if they didn't want to. Max would also rebrand his channel to God Cult, a really weird choice considering the fact that he would soon release a video explaining how influencers use cult-like tactics to retain their audiences and keep them loyal, which was literally what Max was then going ahead and doing as he tried to rebrand his channel into like a cult of some sort. Again, he calls out Camden later in this video for being a pedo, but once once again, provides almost no evidence to back this claim up and asks his viewers to share this video with their favorite influencers in an attempt to try to get them to cover the situation. Also around this time, Spencer would release a video on their channel which was a 5 hour podcast of her experiences in the cult and her eyewitness testimony. But ironically, the most important things to come from this video were the fact that Mama Max himself was under investigation by the FBI and that Spencer 
Spencer self-implicated herself in a crime by admitting that she helped to lure minors into this supposedly dangerous cult. However, things really started to go bonkers when Mudahar dropped his video calling out Mama Max for being a fraud, giving a behind-the-scenes look at their conversations, and leaking parts of a Discord call between Max, Spencer, Muda, and Nicholas Diorio, another YouTuber Max had reached out to asking to cover the Camden situation. Basically, in that call, Max admits that he has no clue what he's doing, claiming that that's why he asked other content creators for help, asserts and reaffirms his belief that eyewitness testimony alone is enough evidence to hold up a case in court, and that testimony itself is enough evidence to not only accuse, but undeniably prove someone's guilt in a situation, and furthermore, Max does dumb and shady things in this call, like unironically using chat GPT for his legal definitions, and conveniently asks Spencer to share how she feels and interrupt the conversation when he starts to receive legitimate criticism from Nick and Muda. Also, another important thing to know about this call is that in it, Nick basically exposes Max for lying two years ago on a podcast with Turkey Tom, where he asked Max if he had ever gotten any predators arrested, to which Max said yes. The that was in the video is per currently in police custody. And it was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. Right. The video was about IMVU and this one predator. I made it about him and him alone. IMVU is a game, right? You yes. played the game and you exposed this guy. Yes. Do you mind walking me through the chain of events that led from your video to him being imprisoned? Yeah, so I dropped the video. The end of the video is a call to action. Usually all my videos are a call to action like find him and we did earlier on the call with nick and muda max claimed that he wasn't aware of any predators who were caught and arrested due to his content which then nick points out that that wasn't what he had told him two years ago and pulls up the clip of max saying that it was his video that got pablo sunny arrested max comes up with some clearly fabricated and on the spot excuse about how oh now he remembers that he found out about the pablo sunny arrest from some fan telling him on instagram but that he didn't remember that until Nick confronted him with the actual clip, but the damage had already been done at that point. Another key thing to note in this call is the fact that Max admits to Muda and Nick that most of the elements in his content are fake or embellished in order to tell a better story. How much of what you do is kayfabe and how much of it is legitimately like live? This is the investigation. Here it is. No. Oh. The investigations themselves are real, but the obviously the films have fictional elements. Like it's a film, like it's, I am presenting it as if it were to be real, but I didn't think people would take it as that. Like, but wait, you all I, pedophiles. You don't think that people are gonna mm -hmm. think your videos are real? So, so that's the thing. So I want everyone, when you watch my video, to assume everything is fake, except like when I show up, face and what they're doing. I don't think I need to explain to people why when you are covering super serious subject matter, like catching PDF files, that you shouldn't necessarily manipulate the story and add false elements and muddy the waters of fact and fiction, especially when you present all of these videos as authentic and 100% real. Speaking about faking parts of his content, learning about this caused some people to do some digging into his earlier catalog and they found some glaring issues with some of his earlier videos. I won't don't really get too much more into that, but basically it just furthered everyone's distrust in Max and extinguished any credibility that Max had in regards to being a serious YouTuber who is actually out there catching predators. There's a lot more to the Mama Max drama. I could go into the embarrassments that were his live streams where he just continued to botch his coverage of this case and further prove that he has no idea what he is doing, or the leaked clip of him power tripping and saying he could cancel Moist Critical and chooses not to. Like he's some kind of YouTube god, or the leaked Discord messages supposedly coming from Max, where he allegedly is planning to sue Mudahar for breaching an NDA that he apparently had for his Discord server. But honestly, there is just so much more to cover in this drama, and I do not want things to get too convoluted or this video to get too long. I've linked the videos that do a comprehensive recap of this situation in the description, so definitely check those out if you want more information on the Mama Max drama. That is essentially everything made 
major that has happened in the story up until this point. So now that we've all basically been caught up on what's been going on with Mama Max, I just want to outline why exactly everyone has had a problem with him recently through this whole situation. It's going to sound like a Martin Luther listing off his 95 theses against the Catholic Church, but yeah, here are just some of the main reasons people have been criticizing Max in this whole situation. Number one, Max fabricates elements in his video, which is really reckless and a bad optic considering the extremely serious nature of his content, making it seem like he is mostly using these serious subjects for entertaining videos and to make money off them. And even if that is not his intention, that's what it just comes across as, like if you're making up elements for these very serious situations just solely to make a better story, that's going to cause people to think that your main concern is telling a good story and not covering these super serious subjects. Number two, Max believes a victim and eyewitness testimony alone is enough to undeniably prove that someone is a predator despite the extremely serious and life-changing implications that that could have on an individual's life. And again, that is extremely reckless. You can't just for sure call someone a predator or a pedo and not have any physical verifiable proof to back that up aside from allegations. Number three, Max relentlessly pesters bigger content creators and borderline vaguely threatens them and guilt trips them by likening their silence to not caring about children being abused in an attempt to force them to cover his case against Camden, despite the fact that he has no actual verifiable evidence against him. And again, this makes no sense. Max, why would these people risk their careers by potentially calling an innocent person? Again, I'm not saying that Camden is innocent, right? Like, none of us know because you haven't provided any proof, but why would they risk calling a potentially innocent person a for sure pedo when they have no proof to make that claim? Number four, Max has never caught a predator and has admitted that catching predators is not his main goal. He said that the main goal of his content is to sort of empower survivors of, like, child predators, but that really doesn't seem like it's the case. I mean, like, sure, his videos could empower people to, like, seek justice or take action against child predators if they're survivors, but this whole time, he has sort of marketed himself as this guy who's out there catching predators and, you know, like, doing these real investigations that lead to real arrests, when apparently that has never been the case this entire time. Number five, Max hides behind victims like Spencer when he gets legitimate criticism to shield himself from that legitimate criticism. Again, this goes back to the point I made talking about the call with Mudahar and Nicholas Diorio, and instead of like actually accepting that criticism or like, oh, you know what, you're right, or like hearing them out or hearing their side of the argument, he immediately turned to Spencer and was like, oh, Spencer, can you just tell them how uh, you feel in this situation? How Like basically just trying to hide behind Spencer and use her and the other victims as a human shield so that no one can criticize his clearly flawed practices. Number six, Max has no idea what he is doing at this point and has stated several times that he has never handled anything like this before. And through his actions, he has proven that he is way in over his head and is completely incompetent to properly handle a situation of this seriousness and magnitude. These types of situations should not be covered by YouTubers who have no idea what they're doing. These investigations should be conducted by law enforcement or proper authorities who actually have the ability to arrest these predators or conduct thorough investigations where the investigators know what they're doing. Number seven, Max cannot be an unbiased and objective journalist in this instance because Spencer is a family friend and is a friend with his sister, which automatically leads to biases in his coverage of the topic that lead to distorted conclusions. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Max can't be an objective, unbiased journalist in this situation because he has personal stakes involved. He has people in his life who are in this story, and that's just going to lead to a conflict of interests and trying to give a fair, unbiased perspective on this whole situation. These are just some of the gripes people have with Max right now. There are others, but those are the main ones that stood out to me. To be honest, I never had really seen any of Mama Max's content before. I'd only briefly heard of him through Nexpo, a YouTuber that I like to watch. And funnily enough, Nexpo put out a statement regarding his affiliation with Max. I'll put that up on the screen now, but basically it just says that he is cutting off Max and it disavows everything he has done recently. And that really is what has been happening to Max. All of 
these YouTubers and friends who had worked with him and supported him over the years are all one by one cutting ties with the man and expressing how they have never seen this side of him before. Max is putting himself on an island and losing all the respect he had in the YouTube community, as well as the trust of most of his fans. It's like the YouTube version of the end of season 1 and Gravity Falls where all the townspeople lose their faith in Little Kidian after he gets exposed for being the terrible person that he is. The worst part about all of this though is everything that the survivors of Camden have had to go through. They came to Max in good faith, hoping that he would be able to help them finally bring the man they claimed to them to justice, yet all Max has done is make himself look like a fool, ruin his career, get way in over his head, make the whole internet turn on him and by proxy them, and gotten the survivors no closer to catching Camden, and in fact has most likely ruined any possibility of them having a legitimate court case against him. It's just a sad situation, but a good reminder that when you are dealing with serious subject matter, you have to know what you are doing and treat your subject matter with respect and authenticity. A great example of why it is almost never a good idea to try to catch pedos for YouTube content. That might have to be its own video, honestly, but yeah, that's for another day. Anyways, only time will tell how bad Max will make this situation for himself. At the time of me writing this script, he continues to goof up and turn everyone against them even more, so we'll see how much of a career he has left after all of this. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a great day.